Hello, my math friends. It's time for math again. And we're on the last lesson for module two. We are on lesson 29 today. So let's get started. Let's do this. All right. Whoops. There we go. Lesson 29. I can solve subtraction problems using 10 as a unit and write two step solutions. So you know what, guys? This is going to be a lot like what we've already done. Only now we're talking about units of 10. So this is a 10 and some ones, where before we were talking about the whole number and breaking it apart. Now we're talking about a 10 and some ones and then taking it away, okay? So let's get started by warming up our brains. We're gonna look at this and say the, say the number, the ten, say 10 way and how many tens and how many ones, okay? So let's look, we have one 10, and some ones. So let's count how many some ones we have. We have five ones. So we have one ten, five ones. The say 10 way would be 10, five. What number is that? 15. How about this one? One ten, eight ones. One ten, eight ones. One ten, eight, 18. Here we have one ten. One one. So one ten one one. One ten one is eleven. One ten six ones. One ten six sixteen. Here's one ten. There's no ones with it, so it's just one ten. So it's ten, the number ten. Let's look at this one. Oh, we have one ten. We have nine ones. One, 10, nine ones. 10, nine, 19. Here we have one, 10, three ones. One, 10, three, 13. Here's one, 10, seven ones. One, 10, seven makes 17. One, 10, four ones. One, 10, four makes 14. Here's one, 10, Two ones, one ten two makes twelve. All right, guys, we're gonna skip over this part. We don't have partners A and B. We're gonna skip over this part, and we're gonna look at our application problem today. Okay, guys, I don't have my I don't have my detective hat, and that's okay because you guys are gonna help me be the detectives today. Okay, so let's get started. Always, what good detective do? is to read the problem first. So let's look at it. Hei Jung had 13 markers and she gave some to Lily. If Hei Jung then had five markers, how many markers did she give to Lily? Okay, so let's go through and look carefully for our clues. Hei Jung had 13 markers. Our clue is that she had 13 markers. Now is 13 gonna be our part or our total? It's gonna be our total. She gave some to Lily. She gave some. We don't know how many, but we know she gave some. So get, gave some away means that we're gonna subtract. So that tells me subtract. If Hei Jung then had five markers, how many markers did Lily have? So we know that she had five markers left after she gave some. So let's do this. Let me get my text box here. Let's make a sentence. We have 13 markers. We give some to Lily. After she gave some to Lily, she only has five left. So let's look at how we can solve this. I'm gonna draw 13 out. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13. Now I'm gonna draw a line through my 10 so you know it's a 10. All right, now I have one 10, three ones. Now if I gave some to Lily and I have five left over, I'm gonna get rid of the ones that I gave to Lily. So let's mark out five of those. One, two, three, four, and five. 
how many did I have left, guys? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So how many markers did she give to Lily? She gave eight markers to Lily. Hey, Jean gave eight markers to Lily. There we go. All right, guys, let's pause for a second, get ready for our lesson. If you already have your whiteboard ready to go, if not, erase it and let's get. Okay, friends, we should be ready to go with our lesson. Let's get started. Make sure you've got your whiteboard ready to go. Your marker is ready and let's listen. Hey, Ms. It's Ms. Duckett here. I'm so excited to be with you all today. Today, we are going to be solving subtraction problems using, get ready for it, 10 as a unit. <laughs> if you're ready, let me hear you say, Ooh, oh yeah, I'm ready. Ooh, oh yeah, I'm ready. So, <laughs> well, on. what do we I think something's wrong with my camera, guys. Hold on. It's frozen. Interesting. There we go. <laughs> okay, sorry friends. I don't know what's going on today. Okay, here we go. What are we waiting for? Let's get started. Today, we will start off with a word problem. Okay. Listen carefully. Suhani has some presents left to open. If she received 13 presents and already opened eight of them, how many presents does Suhani still need to open? Mm, okay. Hmm. Let's read that one more time just to make sure we really understand it. Okay. Suhani, Suhani has, has some, some presents, presents left, left to open. open. Yeah. If, if she, she received, received 13 presents and, and already, already opened eight of them, them how many, How many presents, presents does, does Suhani, Suhani still, still need, need to, open? to open? How would you solve this problem? Well, Take a moment to think. Let's think about that. How could we solve this? If she all has 13 presents, is 13 our total or a part? It's a total. And she's already opened eight of them. Now, is she going to open eight more of the 13 or is she just going to open part of the 13? part of it. So could we say 13 minus 8 equals something? Ooh. Let's see. Did it not work? Well, there we go. I was thinking a lot about our number sentence. If Suhani has 13 presents and already opened eight of them, and we need to figure out how many presents she still has left. A number sentence that we could use to solve this problem would be 13 minus eight equals something. But I want us to look closely at the number 13. Do we have any tens in the number 13? We do. Give we have a thumbs up. One ten. Yes, or a thumbs down if no. We have 110. Yes, we do have tens. Well, how many tens do we have? One. <laughs> bada boom, bada bang, you got it. Yes, we have one ten. Well, how many extra ones do we have? So if we have 110, we have three ones. Yes, we have three extra ones. The number 13 is made up of 10 and three. One 10 and three extra ones. One 10 and three ones make the number 13. Let's show those two parts in a number line. So now we need to subtract eight. Which add-in should we take eight from? Should we take it from our three or our 10? 
or the three? We don't have enough to take it from the three, so let's take it from the 10. So we could say 10. That's right. Minus eight. We should take eight from 10. As mathematicians, we know that 10 is a friendly number. If we take away eight from 10, how many ones will we have left over? Well, if I have 10, let me pause this. If I have 10 and I take eight away all at the same time, how many do I have left? Two. Yes, we would have two ones. Let's write a number sentence to show how we subtracted eight from 10. 10 minus eight equals two. So we know we have two from when we subtracted eight from 10. Did we have any extra ones from our starting number? We did, we had three extra ones. So then we could say two. That's right. We had three Oops. extra ones. Plus Watch three. as I write this number sentence. Three ones plus uh -oh. two ones. Let's write it like our three ones equals five plus ones. two ones, which means thirteen five minus ones. eight equals five. Hmm. When we first now, guys, let's look at this real quick before she keeps going. Two plus three equals five is the exact same thing as saying three ones plus two ones equals five ones. Okay, here's my two. I still have only ones. Here's my three. I still only have ones, no matter which way I go. And five, I'm still only getting ones. Okay, so you can write it two plus three equals five. It's the same thing as three ones plus two ones equals five ones. Now, if your work tells you to spell it out, you spell it out, okay? Solve 13 minus eight. We have one 10 and three ones. But now that we solved and got our answer of five, we have zero tens and five ones. What happened to our 10? We took from it, didn't we? We took eight away from it. Kiss your brain. Yes, that is right. When we subtracted eight from 10, we no longer had our 10 and we only had two ones left. Well, how did we get five ones? Well, we took what we had left over from our 10 and added our extra ones. That's right. We added our three ones that we started off with to our two extra ones. Three ones plus two ones equals five. Great work, mathematicians. Let's try another one. Here is our new number sentence. 11 minus five equals something. Again, we are going to look closely at the number 11. Tens are in the number 11. Show me on your fingers. Yes, one ten. Hold on, guys, just one second, please. Okay, guys, let's keep going. I'm sorry about that pause. Here we go. How many extra ones do we have in the number 11? One. So we have one ten and one extra one. So we have one That's right. ten. We have one, one extra one. Extra one in the number eleven. We have one ten and one extra one. One ten and one one makes the number eleven. Eleven. Let's show these parts in a number line. Which added should we take away five from? Now, can we take it from the 10 or the one? If we take it from the one, do we have enough to take five away? No, so we're gonna have to take it from our 10. The 10 or the one? We're gonna take from the 10, 10 minus five equals what? Great work. We should take away easy. five from the 10. Look, 
Hold up 10 fingers if, if you don't have take five, five away altogether. How many ones will we have left over? We're gonna have five ones left over. Yes, we will have five ones left over. Let's write that in a number sentence. Go ahead and do that now. 10 minus five equals five is what you should have on your board. Did you write 10 minus five? equals five? We did. Give yourself a pat on the back. Nice job. So 10 minus five equals five. So now we have five ones. How many extra ones did we have when we first started? We had one extra one. That's right. We had one extra one. So five ones plus one one equals six ones. Go ahead and write down that number sentence. Now remember, this is the same as saying five plus one equals six. So five this ones means plus one that one 11 equals six minus ones. Minus five equals six. Hmm. So when we first started, we had one 10 and one one. But now we have zero tens and six ones. What happened to our 10? We took five away from it. That's right. We had to take away five from 10, which left us with five ones. Well, where did the six ones come from? The five ones we had from the 10 and the one one we had left over. Five plus one uh -huh. plus six. We had five ones after we subtracted five from 10 and we still had one extra one from what we started off with. Five ones plus one one equals six ones. Are you ready for one last one? Yeah, we, we got strike this. a pose if you are. <laughs> Those are some great poses. Here's our next number sentence. 12 minus 9 equals something. Okay, 12 minus 9 equals Let's something. Let's look closely at the number 12. How many tens do we have in the number 12? One ten. That's right. One ten. And how many extra ones do we have? Two. Yes, two extra ones. The number 12 has one 10 and two ones. One 10 and two ones make the number 12. 12. Let's record those parts in a number bond. Which add-in should we take nine from? Are you gonna take the nine the from ten. the two or the 10? Or the two. We're gonna take it from the 10 because we have enough. So we can say yes. 10 we should take nine minus from nine. Ten. How many ones will be left over if we take nine? From 10. One. You got it. One one will be left over when we take nine from 10. Go ahead and record a number sentence to show how we subtracted nine from 10. 10 minus nine equals one. You should have wrote 10 minus nine equals one. It's okay if you didn't. We all make mistakes. Use this time now to correct your work. So now we know we have one, one left over from when we subtracted nine from 10. How many extra ones did we have when we first started? We had two extra ones. Yes, we had two 
extra ones. Our so number sentence to show how we can one add ones. ones together would be two ones. Plus two ones. Plus one one equals three ones. Remember, it's if the same as saying time, one go ahead and use plus two that equals sentence. three. Same thing. One one is the same as one, two ones is the same as two, and three ones is the same so as three. So friends, this means that our answer is three. 12 minus nine equals three. Can you remind me again where we got three ones from? From our two ones left over from 12 and our one one after we subtracted That's 10. That's right. When we subtracted nine from 10, we had one left over. And then we combined our extra ones that we started off with to the one. So two ones plus one one equals three ones. Great work today, mathematicians. Well, now it's time for the problem set. Your must do problems are one, three, and five. Remember to work your hardest for 10 minutes. I'll see you next time. Adios. Adios, Miss Dickett. All right, friends, let's pull up this problem set. All right, you're going to do one, five, and nine, I believe is what she just said. Let me double check here. Better be safe than sorry. One, five, and seven are what we're gonna do. We're gonna do one, five, and seven, sorry. Okay, so let's look at the first part. Read the directions, because it'll tell you exactly what we need to do. Let me, all right, let me adjust here. There we go, okay. Solve the problems. Write your answers to show how many tens and ones. Show your solution in two steps. Step one, write one number sentence to subtract from 10. Step two, write one number sentence to add the remaining parts. Now guys, if you don't know what that means, look in this box. It wants you to write the number and then it wants you to do just like we did over here. 10 minus something equals something and then it'll be add up the remaining ones, okay? So let's look. You're gonna do number one, so let's look at number two. Number two says 13 minus eight equals something. Now, if I have 13 minus eight, what am I gonna break that 13 into? How many tens? One 10. How many ones? Three ones, okay? Now, what am I gonna take the eight away from? Three or 10? I'm gonna take it away from the 10. 10 minus eight. That's what you're gonna write right here, okay? Let me get a text box going here. We're gonna say 10 minus eight equals, what is 10 minus eight? Two, okay? Now, if I have two ones plus my three ones, two ones, plus three ones equals, <laughs> oh, sorry guys, hold on. Okay, sorry guys, my dogs went a little crazy. Oops, they're still going a little crazy, sorry. All right, so we were talking, eight or 10 minus eight equals two. We have two ones plus the three ones we had left over equals what? So it's the same thing as saying, two plus three equals, what does two plus three equal? Let's put that in here. Well, maybe, there we go. Two plus three ones equals, count on your head or you should know it, like just like that, five ones, okay? So our answer should be 13 minus eight equals five. So let's do that. 13 minus eight equals five. Okay, same thing you're gonna do on number one. I just did number two, you're gonna do number one. All right, let's look at number five. Well, let's look at our, make sure, okay, nope, we're good. Some children are on the playground playing tag. 
eight are on this way. Whoa, 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 whoa. Time out. You're doing number five. I don't want to do number five. Let's go back up here and do number four. I don't want to give you the answer on this one. Here we go. This week, Maria ate five yellow plums and some red plums. If she ate 11 plums in all, how many red plums did Maria eat? Now, guys, this sounds familiar. I think we've had a problem in our past lessons where we did almost the exact same thing, only this time we're not drawing it out, okay? We're gonna write out our problem. Maria ate five yellow plums. Is that a part or a whole? That's gonna be my part. If she ate 11 plums in all, it's going to be my total, okay? So she ate 11 plums in all. She ate five yellow plums. How many red plums did she eat? Now in this box right here, you're gonna write out 11 minus eight. Now, if you need to, and you wanna make your thing right here, your, I can't think of what this is called, your number bond, thank you. If you wanna make your number bond in this box, do it, okay? So let's break out 11. How many tens do we have? We have one 10. How many ones do we have? We have one one. So I have 10, one. 110, 11, that makes 11. Now, I need to know, what am I subtracting? Am I gonna take that five away from the one? Am I gonna take the five away from the 10? From the 10. So I'm gonna say 10 minus five equals, what is 10 minus five equal? Hold up 10 fingers, take five away all at the same time. You get five. Okay, now we need to add in our, our ones. So how many ones did I have after left over after I took five away from 10? Five ones plus the one one I had equals what? Five, six, six ones, ran out of room. Five ones plus one one is the same as saying five plus one equals six ones is the same thing as saying six. So we can say five plus one equals six. Okay, same thing you're gonna do on number five. Now let's look down here at number seven. You were gonna do the exact same thing down here, but it doesn't give you, it does not give you your lines like it does up here. See how these have lines? It doesn't give you the lines, but you still have to do it. Okay, so let's look at number six. Hosea read some nonfiction books. Then he reads six nonfiction books. If he read 18 books all together, how many nonfiction books did Hosea read? Okay, so let's look at that. Hosea read some nonfiction books. Then he read six fiction books. How many did he read all together? It was 18. Okay, so hold on just a second, please. Okay, so but we're subtracting. So let's change this to a subtraction sentence. We want to say 18 minus six equals something, okay? So this is not what we're going to use, but that helps us to see it. So let's look at it, 18 minus six. What am I gonna break my 18 apart into? How many tens and how many ones? One 10, eight ones. What am I gonna take my six from? Which one? I could take it from either one because I have enough for both of them, but let's keep on with our 10. So let's say 10 minus six. What is 10 minus six? Hold up 10 fingers, take six away all at the same time. You should have four fingers left. So if I have four ones and eight ones, how many ones do I have all together? I should have 12, okay? So you're going to put that all on this, just like this, watch. You're gonna say, 18 minus six equals something. We're gonna say over here, 10 minus six 
equals four. And then we're gonna say four plus the eight ones we had equals 12. So 18 minus six equals 12. Okay, you're gonna do number seven. So you're gonna do one, five, and seven, just like we talked about in our problem set. And then you are gonna do your application, or not your application problem, but your exit ticket. And then once you finish, you're gonna turn it all into me. I'll check it. And then we will be done with this whole entire module and we'll be ready for module three when we come back from break. So guys, if you have any questions, email me, get in touch with me, contact me, and I will help you out any way I can, okay? So finish up, turn it all in at the same time. Don't leave any blank that you have been assigned and then I'll grade it for you. I will see you guys on the next lesson. Bye friends.